Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and friends beyond the binary, it's time for the podcaster who wants to remind you that even though you see it in the morning, it starts in the evening, that morning dew. Uh, if it's sleeping, and then it wait, you know, it, it, like when you're sleeping. So I don't. I think they just call it morning dew because you see it in the morning, right? Because uh, I guess because you say, but they say I've been here all evening, do. It's a podcaster who that's what I prefer it be called. And I will start a referendum to say I've been here all evening, do. Except scoots when you look at this, they say, "Oh, well, really? It is morning dew. I didn't realize it. Thanks for showing me the science on that, uh, uh, duologist." <laughs> I've been schooled in duology. He said, don't, okay, okay, I'm just, I realize that, uh, just having fun. Uh, like, like, uh, a dreamy bed, like a dewy tear from, uh, relief, you know, bedtime's here, and I'm trying to get it, bring it to a point, because it's time, what am I talking, a new listener, you might say, what is it, what in the goodness? And it'd say, you're right, it's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast to put you to sleep, and if you're a regular listener, I, I really can't, uh, like, I know people fall asleep fast, uh, and the show's here to put you to sleep once we get through this portion of the show, uh, but it is essential for, for, I really need your support to hear, uh, or to say, hey, don't worry, Scoots, I'll be going to this, check out the sponsors tomorrow. We'll probably got some new sponsors, and this is really how we keep the podcast free for everybody. Uh, publicly, which is a really big goal of mine, is to keep the podcast free for everybody. Uh, so please, please, please either just sit up and listen through the sponsors or uh, tomorrow when your hand hits the fridge, you go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash sponsors. Spread the word about the sponsors. Let them know you heard about them on the show. Yeah, thanks. Uh, uh, hey, everybody, before we get to this uh, story here, I just wanted to see, to get your attention really quick and see if you'd consider becoming a patron. You probably heard me talking recently about how the show is getting towards 800 episodes, 100, over 100 million downloads, and that's been free for anybody that wanted it or needed it. And that's because of you and listeners like you that have gone out of their way to support the show. And if you're in a position to do so and you want to be a part of something bigger, like a hundred million free downloads uh, for anybody that needs it bigger across uh, the globe, uh, which I could not have done on my own. I could not have got here without all of you. If if that sounds like you, but you say, well, I've been listening to the podcast for a while. Uh, yeah, go to sleep dot com slash patron. Sign up. Uh, if you do it by September 15th, you'll get to be a part of this little secret project I'm working on to celebrate uh, those two milestones. Uh, but really, be- just become a patron because you want to, like because you're, you're, you're a rebel with a cause. You want to pay for a free podcast uh, so we, we can be there for another 100 million downloads, so however many people that is, uh, uh, that the show has helped and impacted because of you. So thanks so much. Just consider it sleepwithmepodcast.com slash patron. Thanks. All right, everybody, it's time for the Sleepy Supporter Zone, the one part of the show I need you to hear where we can celebrate the people that bring you the podcast for free. And tonight it's our friend Mikhail from Perfect Ride Denver. That's perfectridedenver.com if you're looking for the perfect ride in Denver. Uh, and Mikhail did the website on Wix using our promo code wix.com slash sleep20. Just go to wix.com slash sleep20. You'll get 20% off your Wix premium plan today. Build a beautiful professional website, just like Perfect Ride Denver, just like Mikhail. And you bring the podcast to, to free, free, free to everybody. Get celebrated on the Sleepy Supporter Zone. Uh, thanks for the support. And uh, that's the part, that's this, this is the end of the Sleepy Supporter Zone. Oh, Mystery Bard, a lot of other people help out in this show too. Who are they? Chris Posty Poster Sun. Sounds like an earful. Wrote the theme song. Edits episodes too. Carl W. The Legend. Also edits episodes. Kenny Scotty and Jennifer. Runner, 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 runner. Eric and the team. I just downed her on the website. I am the mystery bar. I do the lullabies, yeah. I do commissions at JonathanMan.net. I'll write a song for you. Any reason at all. You can tell me the story, yeah. You see the kindness shine straight on through When the listeners form their own Facebook group Keith, Stacy, Sarah, Julie, and Jennifer These are your moderators Get support, dear Scooter, on Patreon Buy the merch and support the sponsors You can find anything you want 
thanks you, thank you, uh, Mr. Bard. I'm at Deer Scooter on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, if you want, join our newsletter, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash newsletter. Eventually, I'll get, you know, there'll be updates on there, like uh, news about the show, stuff like that. Uh, uh, for now, it's just a handy way for me to get in touch with you. And uh, that's it. What do you say? We keep the show. Oh, no, what do you say we get on with the show? Thanks. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Uh, well, welcome. It's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. Uh, yeah, we do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed and turn out the lights and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, uh, feelings, uh, physical, you know, something you're you're thinking about, something you're experiencing physically, something that's coming up or or, or, uh, that's going on emotionally, uh, or, you know, travel, changes in routine, baffling stuff. Uh, whatever it is that's keeping you awake, I'd like to take your mind off of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice, and I know I mentioned do at the top of the show. I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. Uh, tried to, I just slowed down my superfluous. They said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you have something? Slow it down. What do you got there? Oh, are you, is this one of those ones where I'm a boy with a wagon walking too fast, uh, sir? Uh, you, you, that doesn't look like a wagon to me, son. Oh, no, this is just a superfluous tangent. Uh, what, in the, what in the haymaker are you talking about, lad? Wait, sir, have you ever been a PE teacher? Because, because you just talk exactly like 90% of PE teachers I've come across. Uh, son, I'm an authority figure, and I'm here to figure out what you're... Le- well, sir, maybe I could... I, I'll probably forget to come back to you, and ho- hopefully I'll be sure to mention um, that movie, Never Ending Story or something, because... Uh, but I got to get to my new listeners. It, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to send my lowing, soothing tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, as you saw. What I'm going to do is I'm trying to create a safe place where you could set aside all the stuff that's keeping you awake, right? I said that. Uh, and it's ideally a safe place where I could just earn uh, or create or foster a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of space for you, wherever you are, to get a little bit more comfortable, to get a little bit more settled, or to just be where you are, but to kind of listen to me, because maybe something else is go- going on, You know what I mean? It's kind of this weird, this is a safe place besides what's keeping you awake. And the reason it's a safe place is kind of uh, counterintuitive uh, because they send my voice across the deep dark night and all that stuff. And a couple of things, if you're new, you don't really need to listen. This is one of the few podcasts uh, and few safe places once it's established, you don't got to pay attention to it, you say. Okay, so I don't have to, this is a podcast, so aren't I supposed to listen so I can fall asleep? Mm, can kind of listen. You can listen, uh, or you can barely listen. You kind of see how it goes. Uh, you might want to move over uh, to a side of the safe place where you say, well, I can't quite, I can kind of hear you talking. Uh, so if you, you know, if you're new, see how it goes, I guess would be my thing. Uh, but no pressure to listen there's also no pressure to fall asleep. Uh, like, uh, the weird thing is, uh, this is a podcast that's kind of here as you fall asleep. I know I say the podcast to put you to sleep because it's so flashy. Uh, but it's more of the podcast to be here as you drift off that you barely kind of listen, you know, kind of listen to or listen to it if you need to. Now, the reason the shows are an hour is to give you plenty of time. So if you you know if you can't sleep, uh, here's the thing: I make the show just as much for the percentage of listeners that can't sleep as the listeners that fall asleep in five minutes. Uh, so uh, I guess I don't know. I guess I, uh, I don't know what my point was. Oh, my point was you don't need to listen to me, and there's no pressure to fall asleep. 
Also, if you knew structurally what to expect, uh, I'm sorry, there's, are you in a, you're the authority figure wondering what that superfluous tangent is I'm walking around with? Okay, I just wanted to tell you about the structure of my podcast. What's a podcast, oh boy? Uh, it's something you might enjoy, audio. Uh, this, in this case, it's a pod, it starts off with an intro. Oh, like W Mac Radio. I'm not familiar with that, but did they say uh, W Mac, uh, W M A C, radio that puts it takes you know puts the Mac in the whack or something? They say something. Oh, that's how they start their shows. Huh? Oh, you like uh, Rude, Rudy Tootie? That's your favorite DJ. Hmm, that's that's Rudy Tootie. Uh, cool. Uh, do they play like what songs of the circus or songs of car- carnival? Is that like a, is that the, the happy fun carnival hour? Oh no, it's a serious talk. Okay, well we don't talk. That's uh, great to know. Yeah, so this show starts off in the intro, but it's a little bit different than that because uh, the intro is a part of the podcast. Uh, it's a show within a show. How can there be a show within a show? Well. <laughs> It takes some imagination, I guess. Uh, uh, the intro, here's a question for you. You, you see how I'm, uh, I guess because you're an authority figure, you just kind of walk, like, okay, this is it. Yeah, if you weren't an authority figure and you couldn't just walk up to people in their imagination and say, what are you doing leading that thing around? It looks like a wagon until I stopped and looked at it. If you weren't an authority figure, you'd probably have to kind of lead, if you were curious and you saw a boy walking around with a superfluous tangent on a leash. Not a leash, by the way, but I could see how you'd make that mistake. Uh, you, 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 But you weren't an authority figure. You might say, and you, some people might ease their way into the conversation. They might say, hey, is that a, what a... I mean, usually that's when I'm walking around, that's the usual attempt at rapport building. When I'm walking around with a superfluous tangent, they say, hey, what's that... What? Because they want to say, is that your pet? But then they start to look at it, uh, and it takes them out. Anyway, so the intro is to ease people into bedtime as part of people's wind-down routine for most listeners. Uh, new listeners will just kind of kind of discover how it works for them. But a lot of people start the show as they're getting ready for bed, as, you know, and then they wind down. Maybe they're brushing their teeth. Maybe they're already in bed. You know, maybe I get a lot of, you know, human-animal interaction. They say, oh, yeah, I'm just getting my pets ready for bed. Maybe it's a family thing. You know, maybe you're listening. Whatever it is, it's just part of easing you into bedtime. Because I guess that's the thing. You can't really, I'm sure maybe for you, and for some people, you could get in bed like an authority figure. And you say, man, I, I bed like a boss. And I'd say, what a say, wait a second, I'm... What do you mean by that? Uh, anyway, you say, I bed like a boss. I, you know, I would go to bed and I slam dunk it. And I'd say, okay, well, we're, pro- we're different, you know, different people probably. Because me, I need to wind down. I need to ease into bedtime. I need a long runway. I don't bed like a boss. Uh, unless, you know, unless your boss is riding around on a tricycle uh, we, you know, we're trying to catch up with the boy that's leading a superfluous meander around. And I know he's got a headphones and he's listening to that station with the uh, circus and carnival music. I'm sorry, they even confused me. I, I, I know that was a pointless meander. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what that was. But uh, so I, I guess that's the intro. It's like uh, it's something familiar. Ideally, it's comforting. Or reassuring, or you just say, "Okay, Scoots is here. He's not gonna. He's gonna try to make some sense. Probably won't get there." And uh, you know, it's just part. It's just to establish a safe place. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. So that's the intro. Then there's some business between the uh, intro and the show, and then there's a uh, there's a, what do you, what comes out oh tonight it's our premiere pilot episode of our uh, episodically modular serial new series 
the Adventures of Dr. Triangle and Isosceles is the working title of it. Uh, what's a working title? Well, when I think that's going to be the title, but I'm not 100% confident that's going to stay the title. Why well, have a title at all? Oof. You really do, you, do, you really do, do, gym teachers, what do you see? Do you see the world as, uh, uh, never mind, I, I, I was a PE teacher, so I'm just using you as a, I'm, I know, I'm sorry, I apologize, I was wrong. It, it, like, I was wrong, how is it again? I'm sorry, I was wrong, and I'll try to find a new uh, straw person for my, uh, like, uh, Authority, trying to find a new figure for authority figures uh, to represent them. Okay, I'll just keep referring you to you as the authority. Can I at least allude to the fact you have a flat top? And uh, okay, yeah, because I had a flat top once too. So, um, so that's the structure of the show. It ends with some thank yous and some good nights. Most new listeners find that uh, the first time they listen, they kind of say, "What in the." Because the podcast is different, different than they expected, doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily apparent at first how it works or if it would even work. And for some people, it doesn't work. So give it a few tries. If it doesn't work for you, go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you, and you can find some other options there. Yeah, but so th- that's the structure of the show and what you need to know. And yeah, I'm just walking around with my pointless meander. Yeah, no, that's like a, that's like a, one of its, it's, that's its holding hand. It's not a leash. It's one of its hands for holding. Yeah, it does look a bit like a, like a, yeah, it's tough to kind of see because it's almost like it changes when you look at it. I could see on first impression that you saw, thought it was a wagon because, you know, I'm just leading it around the town square here. But you could kind of see it has a long tail. Yeah, it does have influences of, uh, uh, you know, other forest friends we could talk about or fantasy friends. Uh, but yeah, can't, I mean, I mean, I guess for me, I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of, you know, I'm the kind of kid walking around, leading around a pointless meander. And you're the kind of person that beds like a boss. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whenever I say beds like a boss, my brain goes somewhere else immediately. And then I say, am I comfortable with that or not comfortable with that? How am I feeling? Because it's complicated, you know, but, uh, you know, you, but I, I do, I am aware that there are people that fall asleep as soon as their head hits a pillow. And I would say that is like, you say, man, I dunk on my pillow, your head, right? You just put it down, boom. So that's great for you. So you might not need the podcast, uh, but you might listen to it, you know, for relaxation purposes or, uh, you know, for, just say, well, I need something that's a little bit different today. Uh, so that's it. I don't know. That we, you know, this was an interesting intro. I'm glad to meet you. I, I'm very clear that uh, you're one of the authority figures that lives within me. Is one of the many thousands of uh, beings that you know join me when I put my head down to rest. You know, I could use somebody that beds like a ball. You know, the, but anyway. He said, where's that person that says, I, I, I can't, you know, I bed like a boss, you know, the other, uh, he said, oh, nobody's into, okay, well, thanks. So anyway, I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm basically here to keep you company as you drift off uh, because I want to help. I, I've been there and, you know, not putting my head down and falling asleep right away. Though this morning... Just to give you a little bit of taste of hope, I was awake, uh, but and, and I don't. I don't usually. I'm not usually a ton of covers person, but it was raining and it was a little bit chilly, and and never noticed this. But I had my. You know, when people say they have their covers pulled up to their chin, my chinny chin chin. I did. I had my covers pulled up to the the hairs on my chinny chin chin, and it really just felt good. Uh, so I don't know if you want to do that now. You know, you could shrink in or you can expand. Sometimes it's not. It's good in the, the breeze of the morning. And, it, of course, I said, Oof, I don't know. I really felt good. I guess that's rare for me to say, wow, this really feels good. I got my covers pulled up to my chin. I had a laugh. Uh, I really did. I said, I caught, it was like I caught myself. I was already awake, uh, but I kind of naturally gone into that position uh, you know, when you, when you're, uh, when you get, you're in kind of morning cat mode, 
And, uh, I was, you know, I knew I had to get up, but I wasn't in a total rush. And I said, I just said, well, I feel kind of cozy. And then I said, well, my, my covers are pulled up to my chin. No wonder. Usually I'd just be like, that's too warm for me. I'd say my, my shoulders need to breathe. Uh, my shoulder, you know, I always talk about kissing your own shoulders as a, a symbol in an act of self-care. And so I like my shoulders available for kissing at all times. But the, today, this morning, my shoulders did not, they weren't demanding uh, fresh air or anything. So anyway, I guess mostly what I'm trying to say is I'm glad you're here. And I work very hard and I strive and I yearn. I really want to help you fall asleep. And uh, thank you so much uh, for coming by. Oh, and here's a couple of ways we keep the show going. All right. Hey, everybody. Uh, I was wondering if I could have your attention really quick. If you're a regular listener, if you may have already heard this. The show crossed a couple of big milestones or is in the middle of crossing 800 episodes. And a while back, we crossed 100 million downloads. And those were for free, like uh, not behind a paywall, not as part of some paid service. Over 100 million downloads of people who needed a podcast to put them to sleep for free. You know, people struggling, like, you know how it feels to struggle in the deep, dark night, right? I mean, that's why I make the show. Uh, and all that was possible because of you and listeners like you that took action to support the show. It w wouldn't have been possible on my own. Uh, you went out of your way, you know, in the morning or at night and said, I'm going to support the show. I'm going to support a sponsor. I'm going to spread the word. And I'm going to keep the show free for everybody. And I'm going to make sure it's there when I need it, too. Like, you really took those extra steps. You went out of your way and sacrificed for the show, particularly the patrons. Uh, and in some sense, you loudly spoke. You said something like, sleep with me is valuable to me. And that I want to support it, not just for me, but for thousands and thousands of other people. So think about that. Think about the comfort you have enabled, empowered uh, for other people. It's really, it's countercultural. It's loving it's kind, and it's wonderful. And I'm really proud of all of you because, like I said, it, I wouldn't have got here without all of your support, uh, the emails, uh, the spreading of the word, and then making sure we could do it for free instead of as part of a, like a paid service. And those of you that take action are the ones that enable us to do that. And if you're not in a position to do so, that's totally fine too. But those of you that have said, wait a second, uh, like, I, I don't know what I've been waiting for. You're right, Scoots. Think about doing it b before September 15th, because we're going to do something really fun on Patreon. And whether you're a former patron or a current patron, or you become one by September 15th, you'll get in on this. Uh, it's just going to be something fun and symbolic to celebrate all of the people that made it possible uh, for the show to get to this point. And if you support the show by spreading the word or supporting the sponsors, you'll be able to p participate too. Just keep your ears out. Uh, please think about it. I'm not, that's all I'm asking. Uh, sleep with me podcast.com slash patron. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, you, you, let's, uh, we've been getting on with the show because of you. All right, everybody. Welcome to our new series. It will be, a. Uh episodic though this is a pilot episode i don't know if i've done a pilot episode before just the first episode i mean i guess uh i guess it is a pilot episode it is also a first episode uh so it, it kind of is like a i don't know like a, i don't know is it a pilot or now that i'm talking it out i say originally when i was like uh, halfway through writing this episode i said oh, okay this is a pilot episode and I'm going to explain to the listeners that fact when I do the recording. And now I can't even remember what made it a pilot episode. So I'm not sure. It's the first episode. I guess it is a pilot because, uh, I mean, normally a pilot is something you try to get, you make so that you can get permission to make the rest of the series. But I have permission from me. Uh, but also, it, I guess in some sense it did... When I was formulating the first episode, I said, okay, what are the principles, like, what's going to be, what's going to come up in this episode that will move the story forward through however many episodes we do, 10 or 12, ideally. And so that's it. A couple of things you need to know about the first episode. It'll be extra dreamy because uh, 
I, I won't ex- ex- because it's a pilot or first episode this time. I want to try to like uh, leave it open uh, to, 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 instead of explaining everything is uh, to leave you with a little bit of room, you know, for your own, you know, I- I- you know, ideally you're asleep or you're snuggling in or getting comfy. But I knew that I know I do know there's those of you that listen because you can't sleep or you're listening for company or you're listening during the day or you're re-listening. And I also make the show for, for all of you, too. And also, kind of what that type of listener does is, uh, I don't know, it's very similar to me when I'm making it. I say, well, uh, okay, so so I don't want to give too much away right away. Just give you a chance to, to, to have a relationship with it a little bit. So I don't know what I would need to explain. Uh, I don't think, I, I guess I don't need to explain anything more. I don't, I don't really explain anything. But this will be a series. It has two characters and uh, our main char- two main characters. Uh, and uh, yeah, I guess uh, here here we go. Uh, and here's a you know you maybe you were wondering too. He is the world famous, the unbelievably kind. You know, Antonio, I've been getting a lot of listener email about uh, how I treat you. And you know, really, when you talk about how listeners feel, they definitely say. Wow, then Antonio Ben Banderas is talented, generous, and kind. So your true your true personality really does come through. Unfortunately, unfortunately, mine does come through too. My perfectionism or impatience. So I, I you know, I, you know, I know that's part of our playful nature of our relationship. Uh, so I'm so glad to have uh, Mr. Antonio Bandaris here to uh, introduce uh, our new series. Also, I wrote it out for you, part of it. I know we talked about it. Uh, my friend, uh, as, a, as a ladies and gentlemen, as a boys and girls, so friends beyond the binary, it's time to enter somewhere. Oh, okay. My friend, do you mind if I read it here? Yeah, uh, listeners, just come along. You know, it's the first episode. Uh, Somewhere in a world without math, uh, technically, it a greatly reduced math, uh, having trouble reading Scooter's handwriting, some places where only specific math principles are missing. Okay, so I see why I just said, okay. Okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, so boys and girls, the so friends beyond the binary, somewhere in a world without math. Scooter, there's nothing after that because I can't just go to. Uh, well, I'll, I guess I'll work on that for. That was perfect, by the way. And I actually added some extra padding to my room divider, so you could actually like because uh, the listener feedback. I said let's let's let Antonio drink water, and maybe move around occasionally, but not too much. Don't get carried away until we play Munchkin. Um, okay, so just do. I guess. Uh, Maybe just do we join, okay? Okay, I'll pick it up from uh, somewhere in a world without math. We join the adventures of Dr. Triangle and I, Sussilis. Yeah, calculation. Okay, you just want to do something other? Yeah, I guess, my friend, I said, uh, okay, uh, I, uh, Dr. Scooter, take it over. Uh, you're a bit like Tom in there. Thanks, that's uh, Mr. Antonio Banderas, everybody. This is The Adventures of Dr. Triangle and Isosceles. Uh, the, the name of the town is Danzig. And, like, uh, yeah, I'm positive that there's going to be baked beans here. I mean, I'm 100% sure. All right, but... Uh, you know, I guess I don't understand how you would know that there's going to be baked beans here in this town. Uh, well, because it, so, okay, so if you look at the map, if I showed you the map, just pay attention because I've never seen anyone, just because we're riding and just because the, 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 the horse is drawing the carriage doesn't mean you don't need to pay attention to the road, please. I'm paying attention to the road and to you at the same time. Okay, well, so the, and if you would have looked at the maps I was trying to show you uh, before everything, 
Uh, there, there was the uh, gra Grandma Ben's uh, ba baked bean factory here. Grandma was named Ben. It was like a merger, some corporate merger, but it was uh, doesn't matter. There was a giant baked bean cannery here. And my understanding is that some of the beans, they even, like, uh, so, so yeah, they warehoused, it was uh, their national headquarters uh, for the beans. So there's, there's going to be tons of beans here, and we're going to take payment in beans today, or, you know, anything else people have to give. Okay, well, I don't, I still, I don't, I, I, uh, I, I mean, I understand you're, you're saying, I, I, okay, tell, tell me, because why don't we just get, I, I just don't want to end up stuck with a, a, a wagon load of beans, because I calculated how many beans we could fit in the wagon, and it just seems like this is going to backfire, and I'm going to be existing on beans for years, and... Well, I understand it's the foundation. You, you know what I mean. I, 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 I'm, I, I'm worried about your plan. Okay, it's simple. So Dan, Dan Zig's here, right? Now, if we, we before, you know, with the consolidation of the city states, there's a city state that's only a two day journey away, uh, where even before everything happened, there was a large number of, of former UK residents. Uh, living in that area, the highest area in the States uh, where people from the UK were living other than, uh, you know, the huge, biggest cities. And this, uh, this city state considers itself, uh, you know, it's a UK friendly or former UK. They're going to want baked beans. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a thing. Okay, but these aren't English baked beans. They're baked beans from, uh, uh, like, uh, the Midwest. Uh, again, you're not thinking with big big picture. Like, they can take the baked beans, and they can. Uh, do, they don't have bean. They're going to want baked beans. It's the closest equivalent. And all they got to do is add a little sugar, and it'll be close to an English. You're overthinking it. We're going to be able to trade it. I already have the majority of the beans pre-sold. Yeah, but that's for something that you want. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, it's pre-sold, and with that again is an even more valuable item. But that's a tanker truck. We also still have to find a way to transport the tanker truck. Yeah, but don't worry about it. It's going to work great. We'll, we're going to trade. We're going to fill this wagon with. We'll perform one show only uh, because they do have another buyer uh, not paying in beans. Uh, but, uh, like, we'll trade the beans uh, for the tanker of wine, and then we'll, ha we'll still have 25% uh, of the beans uh, to trade for other things. I would recommend holding 5%. Again, I've been doing. I've been. I've been working on this. You, you, you trust me. It's not a foolproof plan. Otherwise, it wouldn't have you involved. That's hilarious. That's just hilarious. Uh, okay, we're going through. The, okay, just let me handle the, the, the driving of the what you handle the bean planning. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, we're the, we're here to perform tonight in your town square. You, I assume you have a city square or town square. Uh, yes, we did a great job keeping the gates. Uh, Yes, my partner and I will be performing here, and we have a spectacular show. You probably, oh, you have heard of us. Yes, you, of course you have. We're, uh, oh, you, you start, oh, you start spreading the word. Hello, children. Hello, everyone. Uh, okay, thanks for letting us in. Thank you. Uh, yes, hello. What a wonderful town you have here. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, we'll be performing tonight in your town square. If you could reach your city, your head city official, your mayor, or whoever uh, runs the city, bring your canned goods. Uh, is what we what our performance fee is, or check with your city official. I don't know how your canned goods work in this area. I do know I have a hankering for beans, though. Oh, good, good. You do have a lot of beans. Uh, yeah, so we uh, we we uh, we're going to be performing. We can only do one show because we're booked. Uh, we we have a we have a pr prior commitment. We stopped here because we heard how lovely the people were in Danzig, in in Danzig, and we're going to have a great time tonight. Uh, 
So if you could just show us, okay, just up around that bend. Oh, so we go up the rise and then back down. Okay, thank you, thank you, thanks, thanks, children. Thank you, everyone. Really looking forward to performing tonight. Oh, what kind of show do we have? Oh, well, have you ever heard of, do, do you like drama? Do you like action? D does anyone in your family like a little bit of romance? Uh, well, we have all of those things. Uh, and uh, believe me, the show will have more. Do you like to laugh? Uh, so you do, of course. Uh, you're a child. You're looking for. Do, do you like uh, antics? Uh, because I can. Leaping. Uh, okay. Well, we'll come to the show tonight. Uh, bring your beans or have your city official bring a proper amount of. You know, you, good, good day. Tell your parents uh, or whoever's in charge of you. Thank you. Okay. Look over the city here. Do you notice anything strange in the city line? Well, this is, an, uh, this, you know, this city, uh, it's got good, nice air. I noticed that. Uh, and it's in good shape uh, because uh, as you plotted out, you said this is one of the areas that's uh, very low impact, you know, just the basics. Uh, so, you know, we don't have to worry about anything wonky going on in this city. Yeah, no, the city's in a stable zone. Yeah, but I was saying just... Uh, you have to spell everything out for you. Just look at the city skyline and tell me what you notice when you look across the city skyline. Well, I notice buildings. I notice uh, birds. Uh, uh, sky. Um, okay, look at the buildings. The two. What are okay? What are the two build biggest buildings in town? Ah, the temples. Uh, the, oh, yeah. There's temple. There's two temples. Uh, that's interesting, right? It's uh, two temples. Uh, you any idea which one's larger than the other one? Huh? We haven't been to a town where uh, I think we've have we been to. We were, were the only town we had with two temples. One that is interesting that that one's large. I think it's. But look at the. It's like a older. Uh, it's a remnant temple. It. it uh, it's nothing to worry about. No, I think it is. I, I think uh, we need to go through with the show no matter what to get the beans. But um, maybe we should dial down the comedy a little because uh, these, uh, well, I, I just don't like the, like, uh, I, I just have a feeling that uh, the, 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 the people, people like, uh, it, that uh, it's going to be, maybe they, they like, uh, that, uh, Okay, it's going to be fine. People people that look like, uh, they'll come to the show, the people that want to come to the show, you know, they know who we are. They they, they know that we're like the kind of uh, story we tell. And uh, if that's their goddess, uh, they won't be coming to our show anyway, right? And again, I think more than likely, if you study the trends, uh, people, people have stopped caring about uh uh, like you, you know, they, they they want so so they, once they started looking for someone to blame, so that temple is probably built uh, and now it's 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 probably empty. Okay, well it's just weird that. Uh, yeah, okay, so I guess it's gonna be fine. So so here's the town square. That must be the, the mayor. She's there waiting for us. Uh, hello, hello, you just pull up and pay attention to where the horse is going. I've got it. Thank you. Well, hello, I'm, uh, we're here to do the show. Please, please to meet you. And it looks like you have a great populace. They seem very, very excited. And you know, we're excited to put on a great show tonight. I don't, like we sent word ahead. Did you, okay. Yes, yeah, so does that sound like a reasonable payment? I mean, I, I don't know how you do things here. If uh, if you have a central repository or if everybody has their own, like, uh, how you distribute. Uh, yeah, okay. You, so that is an order you could fill because that is really a fair price for our show. It's very entertaining. And we do have, give, like, a couple of giveaways we give the kids. And they like to do thing, you know, then it kind of carries on. Like we find that when we return, you know, we've never been here before, but we're excited to do a show for you. I mean, if it goes really well, we have, like I said, we have to be uh, somewhere in a few days, but we could come, you know, we could come back in a few months and do another show if all goes well. 
Yes, because I have a big hankering for beans. Uh, well, pleased to meet you. I'm uh, looking forward to... Pro- okay, that's... Yeah. You, you, can you start setting up the stage? I will be setting up the stage. Uh, so, like, uh, we usually take a deposit... Oh, you have a horse coming with a deposit. Yeah, like uh, 25 to 10% of our agreed fee. And uh, th- just because, you know, we've been to these towns before. I mean, uh, your town looks very, very w- well. Like, your streets are clean. It seems like you're a faith-based town or you have different, I, I don't know, like, uh, believe, like uh, but uh, so we're w- really looking forward to it. But we do, it's not anything personal against your town. It's just a matter of that, uh, you know, we got to take payment. We've been doing, we've been on the road for, you know, since we were, you know, before we were, we were performers. And now, you know, ever since then. Okay, so thank you. So where should we go? Where should we get, where, where, how will we get the rest of our, uh, like our bean, our beans? I really can't believe you're going to pay us all in beans. Sometimes we get, uh, oh, some people might tip us non canned beans. Well, that's great. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to, uh, okay. So we'll go, okay. Through this side of the square. Oh, and, and down that alley. Oh, cause yeah, we were wondering if that was a functioning, facility the oh so you just use that to store the beans that makes sense uh so we'll meet you there after the show terrific and if we could just make sure that everything's ready because we really have to get back on the road you know we have to, we, it's just it's not again i'd love to spend a weekend here or whatever uh a few days but uh we have okay thank you and we'll see are you going to be at the show? looking forward to seeing you mayor your 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 mayorship uh at the show this evening. Thank you. Okay, how's the, how's the stage building going? The stage building is going excellent. Listen, I think uh, during the third act, uh, I'd, I'd lo- I have a new speech I've been working on, and I think it would fit perfectly there. Okay, well, I'm just saying, like, maybe tone things down, because this town might be a little bit more like, like, like again, just tone it down a little bit. Uh, okay, well, don't, don't worry yourself. I'm a performer. I'm here to entertain. Not get, you know, I'm not really here to give any messages. I'm just here to entertain and make people enjoy themselves. Uh, and I thought, uh, I mean, I was going to do it as a mayor. So I guess what you're saying is that mayor probably wouldn't like it because they would identify with it. Yeah, let's just stick to the regular show, okay? Uh, okay, I'm going to lie down for a minute, and then when I wake up, we'll be ready to go. Okay, you go lie down. I'm going to be building the stage here and getting ready for my role and uh, sitting here. Hello, you see the show will be here in about a, few, a little bit, a few hours. We're just getting things ready. Yes, uh, this is my horse, uh, and uh, it's a horse, of course, of course. Oh, well, we do have giveaways for the children. Uh, did, did, have you heard of a paper plate? Uh, no. Yes, well, they used to. They, they're a, a craft item. Very rare. We had a, We did a show in exchange for a cartload of crate, paper, paper, crate, play, paper plates. Excuse me. We were supposed to trade for something else. Uh, but we adjusted I'm sorry, I'm telling you things I shouldn't necessarily be telling you, but, you know, you you have an honest face. Oh, you're, you're a fan of, uh, you really like our show. Oh, you have a question about it. You, so you've heard about our performance, huh? Oh, is it, do we believe in, uh, no, no, it's a, it's a show. So it's, uh, the, those are characters. I'm... Not the same as my character, though we're pretty simple. You know, I, I I inhabit the role. I'm an actor. And I was telling you about the paper plates. Uh, so our opinion on uh, things is, uh, have you heard of, uh, it's, a, it's a show. It, it'll be a great performance. You're going to have a great time. I'll tell you what, I'll even give you one of these paper plates. Oh, so the paper plates, we teach the children how to make a mask out of them. And, you know, you put aisles in it, uh, People used to eat off of these back when in the days of plenty. Would you believe that people threw their plates away? Yeah, I think it was not that long ago. 
Yes, uh, so but they're really crafts. We call we call it a it's a it's a masquerade kit that we'll be providing the children, uh, which consists of a piece of charcoal and the mask, and uh, and you kind of have to supply your own twine, or the children can hold. It. We we just teach them how to hold it up. It, it, it's great fun for children, for for even me. Okay, well it's been my pleasure. Uh, I'm gonna actually take a break here. And I'm gonna lie down. And we right we like to rest before our show. Thank, thank you. I'll go see you this evening. Okay. What? Well, okay. Do you, oh, you're asleep too. Okay. It's time for the show. Okay. Uh, well, I think we should get to the show, and uh, let's let's get to it. Well, hello everyone. This is the narrator, and uh, as our two characters went to sleep, some time passed, and then they woke up. They got out of bed, uh, uh, one sleeping on the side of the stage and uh, the other uh, sleeping in the wagon. The horse is standing. I don't know if horses stand and sleep. Uh, but then it was showtime, and I have an active role in the show for our two characters who took the stage, and they quickly introduced themselves. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the show. My name is, uh, you could call me Isosceles, uh, and I want you to introduce, oh, who, oh, oh, sorry, someone's walking on my stage. Excuse me, excuse me, who, who, whom are you walking on my stage? I'm, uh, Dr. Triangle, uh, walking on your stage. Well, Dr. Triangle, you look familiar, like, uh, we know each other, <laughs> but, uh, uh, Dr. Triangle, that sounds very official. Are you a uh, uh, doctor of maths or something? Uh, yes, I'm a, I'm a doctor of maths. Uh, what can I help you with? Well, would you, uh, there's not much math to be a doctor of anymore. Uh, really, you and your math fans uh, really got us. What are you booing for? Really got us in a pickle. Excuse me, excuse me. I, like, Don't boo Dr. Triangle quite yet. Uh, you know, let, let us get to the show part. We're still, we're, this is just the setup. Uh, okay, don't interact, don't, in, don't interact the audience, what I tell you. Uh, what was that, Dr. Triangle? I should use an equation to figure this out. Uh, well, I don't even know what equation means anymore. Well, Isosceles, uh, you co clearly are one of these uh, anti-math people. Oh, no, no, no. And I'm here, like, I just wanted to tell you some of the, before you turn your back on math forever, I'd like to introduce you to some of the wonders of math. Oh, so the wonders of math, like uh, numbers and uh, equations and those things. Well, you know, I don't have time for that. I'm a working person. I work uh, for a living. Isosceles, uh, you know, I've 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 been I've been out winning bread and, and sweating on my brow, and uh, I come home today and I read the news and it no longer even works, uh, and then I hear from my neighbors uh, that uh, everything with the, the numbers and the credits and the, uh, the, the, the 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 paper money never made any sense in the first place. Okay, you're going off script. This isn't, and they're. Uh, the audience is really booing. Uh, I'll deal with this. Excuse me, this is very rude to boo us. We, you know, we do have uh, paper, but we have, do have children. Hello, children, don't boo the show. We're, we're just getting started. We're, I was testing out a new routine. Oh, let me ask you a question. You all, oh, you are so grouchy, audience. Please, no, uh, no tossing of cans, uh, because I will just keep them as payment, uh, Oh, who, how many of you, are, are you all math lovers here? Oh, dear. All of you? I've never been to a town of math lovers before. Uh, you know that you know the, the, most of the world out there doesn't believe in math anymore. Uh, math has gone the way of, uh, it's gone. You, do, you still practice, you can't even have math, it, it's, uh, Oh, you keep it in your heart. So that you're a very cute child. Oh, what are your father's yelling at me? 
Okay, the, the audience is turning quite, uh, let's get on the horse and get out of here. Well, we can't, we can't leave without getting the beans. Uh, I thought you, we got to, 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 to deposit. Yeah, but the deposit won't cover anything. And, uh, if we don't pay, I actually entered into a contract for the, with the, the, the English hold fast. So we have to deliver the beans. Okay, well, let's go to the May. Let's just go. Where are we supposed to? Okay, thank you, everyone. That's the end of the show. There was paper plates for everybody over here at this table. Uh, be, okay, let's go. We get on. Get in the wagon. Just leave the stage. We'll build another one. Hey, everyone. This is the narrator. They hopped in the wagon. Now, obviously, they were presenting things in a much more delicate way. But what had happened was they started their show and. Uh, the audience was booing. The audience uh, it disagreed. The audience maybe thought that it was a bit of anti-math propaganda. And they didn't like the show. And also because of the new bit that Dr. Isosceles was trying out with Dr. Ti- Triangle, the show never even got off the ground. And they hopped in their wagon. And it was a, you know, a math-friendly audience. So they were booing and shouting, but they weren't doing anything uh, uh, you know, too, 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 too egregious, uh, uh, because it, what would they, they had their canned goods. They did lose a, a two packets of paper plates, uh, which the children used as Frisbees because they never got to the part of the show where they use them as masks. And we now know they headed off in the direction that the mayor had pointed them in and we'll join them as they head, uh, towards that building. Okay, this this is where the mayor said, well, this is the temple of uh, Sushat. Uh, we can't go to this temple. Uh, well, it's just, like you said, it's just a bean storage. It's not a, uh, are you kidding me? Those people were, ma- they, this, uh, this is a math city. Well, it's just a math, it's people looking for something to believe in. They're believing in math, uh, but math's gone. So let's just get, pa- uh, oh, hello, mayor. Hello, we're here to get our beans. Oh, you're not, what do you mean you're not going to pay us? Uh, oh, excuse me, I'll hand, uh, excuse me, your mayorship. Uh, we demand payment. We uh, we were here, we tried to perform your show, and your, your town disagreed with our presentation. And uh, they, uh, they uh, were uh, unpleased with our performance, but that doesn't change the fact that we did perform. And because you seemed fit to, to, to be fair, we, we would like to be paid and uh, I'll pay our beans, please. Oh, no. Mayor, please, just we, 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 we did our show. We can't help that. We didn't expect you. We didn't realize uh, you had such a uh, engage that you were so engaged in principle, mathematic, uh, pr- mathematics in principle. And if we would have known that, we, we probably, we, we probably, we, we'd, uh, I mean, I sent word ahead of time. Okay, we need to... Leave. No, no. What are we going to do? Okay, uh, your mayorship, you, it seems like we need to leave. You're saying you won't pay us and we need to leave. And I see that as fair. What are you saying? I see that as fair, your mayorship. And in, in the interest of fairness, I should say that as we were riding out of the town square, I noticed... Uh, there were some things happening that probably needed the attention of the mayor and your staff, uh, because it, it, I don't know if that was your water. You, 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 oh, yeah, because it seemed to be that, like, you better go check on that mayor. We'll head out of town. But I just wanted to warn you, because it seemed like uh, it, the, 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 I think people got carried away, and they may have, uh, like, uh, ruptured that water main. And I, I'm assuming that's your only water main in town. Uh, yes, hurry off, Mayor. We'll, we'll, we'll thank you for your... We'll, we'll keep the 15%. Uh, thank you. That's very fair. Thank you. Goodbye. Wait, wh- what do you do? Why'd you... Oh, the Mayor's gone. We'll just go in there and take our beans now. They have to have him in there. Oh, okay. Let's go. And so, Isosceles and Dr. Triangle went into the temple. The temple of Sashata, the goddess of math, uh, and they walked past Muir. They, they kind of ignored everything, but they, this temple, uh, the lighting wasn't great. You know, there was only a few torches lit, uh, but there was murals uh, honoring mathematical principles, and they headed into a room. Uh, 
a giant, giant chamber. Normally, it was a kind of chamber you'd expect uh, where uh, people would congregate. Uh, these people might have congregated to celebrate the principles of math or uh, to look to the goddess, uh, to look to the goddess uh, for uh, you know guidance uh, in 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 math or waiting for her. Is is the narrator? I think it's time to tell you that. Uh, this is a time where math is gone. or mo- It's a tough to explain, so maybe I won't try to explain it right now. Uh, but they started to uh, load their wagon with beans, uh, and then they started to look around at uh, some, some of the other things they had stored there. And they started to load their wagon up with more than just beans. Uh, just just load it up. I mean, they're rude to us. It's fine that we take... Uh, well, I mean, this is... I, I, I agree with you fully. I'm about time. You know, we need to take our fair share. Uh, this is interest because they didn't pay us immediately. And, uh, uh, well, I don't... I, I guess that was, that's... A, look at me using math in a joking way. But... Uh, yeah, let's just take those bottles of, uh, I mean, those are going to be valuable for you, of course, uh, and we could trade those between the two of us later. Yeah, but I don't, like, yeah, yeah, let's see. I'm trying to just think of what has the most value other than the beans. Uh, is, uh, oh, wait, someone's coming. Let's, uh, maybe we should just get the wagon and the horse. If we go behind uh, that wall there. And hide for now because we can't. At this point, we could, we could, we'll just hide out here, and then, and then we can sneak out in the morning or something, and wait until it's a little much later. Okay, let's let's go, let's go. And so they went behind a wall in the temple, but it wasn't a wall. It opened into a hallway. They just had enough space in the hallway to park their horse and carts. But something about the hallway and the fact that they were trying to use up the time kind of called to them, and they. Headed down the hallway, uh, down, down, down the hallway, maybe searching for more, uh, whatever, larder-type goods, uh, I don't know. And they pass through another large room full of stocked goods, canned goods, dried goods, uh, shelf-stable things, uh, uh, alcohol, water. They couldn't believe their eyes, and, and lots and lots of uh, baked beans. Uh, they're literally this town is literally sitting on a uh, on a hill of beans. There's even dried beans down here. You're right. Okay, we should keep searching deeper because uh, I don't know. We could. This could be our big. Uh, we, even if we were to find another way in and out of this temple, we could uh, just constantly keep coming in and out of here. You know. Uh, no, no one would know, and they, they wouldn't even notice. Uh, and we'd be rich, and they wouldn't even notice we're taking stuff. Uh, let's just keep going, because I can feel a breeze coming from that way. Okay, okay. What's he? This is shining. This is like a. In this next room, there's like a. It's like a mirror. So, it's a hall of mirrors. Uh, yeah, it's not a maze of mirrors. It's just a, a hall. Do you, do you see things in the mirrors? What, Abe? Uh, I'm looking in a mirror. Yes, I'm looking in the What am I seeing? Holy cow. There we are, riding off to that whole English hold fast. Uh, there I am driving. <laughs> wow, I'm driving an entire... I can't believe we traded... Uh, 40 cases of baked beans, or the equivalent of 40 cases of baked beans, a case being 12 cans for an entire tanker truck of wine. It's almost to, to the point, uh, oh, and there I am driving the tanker truck in the mirror. I can't even believe this is possible. Driving it off... Uh, Wonder if Isosceles is seeing the same thing, but still dressed as Doctor Triangle, and I'm headed off. Uh, and I, yeah, I'm like, I, I, I give my choice. I could trade the wine, but I almost have both of my places fully stocked, uh, so I can just live a lifetime 
I know the tanker wine won't last me my entire, you know, if I am expecting, you know, my, but then I can just go drink my wine. I have all of the, everything downloaded, years and years of the old content. And I happen to have, I figured out, uh, I, I, it's like uh, we, we found that spot where we could convert digital to analog. And I'm just going to sit there and drink and eat and watch things until, uh, and I'm, I, no one can bug me. It's going to be great. This is exactly, oh, wait, maybe I should keep walking to the end of the hall. There's something else down there. Exactly. So what are you, what are you seeing in the mirror? It's, uh, I said, seeing this, uh, where is it? It's in the mirrors. Yes, it is. Uh, it's nice. Very nice. Isosceles, I see in the mirror. Isosceles. Where are you going, Dr. Triangle? Hey, just follow me. Would you see the... I, uh, let's go that way. Uh, we don't need to worry about what I, we saw in the mirror. Uh, this is some strange room, uh... And they did enter a room. It was a strange room. As they said, much different than something normal. And it was a well-lit room where everything else was cinematically uh, a little bit darker. And as they entered the room, as, as you might expect, there was this faint rumbling as the door closed behind them, a stone door. And they found themselves... Uh, uh, sealed in, and the room had a rise, uh, and at the top of the room, through an arched doorway, emerged a fig fi figure, figure, not a, f a figure, a person in a long gown. She looked down at them and spoke, uh, uh, who are you that in in intrude on this uh, sacred ground? in this place of sacred principles, uh, and do you dare to discuss uh, uh, taking our supplies that we have, and do you dare to come to our town and make fun of our goddess and our principles that we plan to return? Do you know the cost of mass leaving this world? Uh, you... you, you I'm a little, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not 100% because we just went through that hallway of mirrors. Uh, Dr. Triangle, could you take, could you, I can't believe I'm calling you Dr. Triangle either. Hey, I, I, let's just go by these names because, oh, we, uh, we're just a little lost. We were here, we, we were picking up our payment. We had a little bit of a disagreement with the mayor. And, you know, Isosceles here managed to give your mayor a nice tip, uh, and then we were just exploring the temple. We didn't realize that it was uh, occupied. You know, we've this is uh, honestly the first town we've been in uh, where there's active. Um, I mean, occasionally there's pockets of uh, I don't know what you could math acolytes. I don't know praisers of Shashad uh, uh, that uh, math believers. I guess that's what we call you in our play. But I mean, that's uh, I play Doctor Triangle. Uh, silence, uh, the two of you. Uh, I don't know what you saw in the Hall of Mirrors, uh, but now, uh, in violation of our temple, uh, you will face a, a, a test uh, to see if you pay the ultimate price. Oh, you're talking just like Dr. Triangle. I like that. Uh, what do you mean we're going to face a test for the ultimate price? Uh, you'll see, you, you, if you can use two easy math principles, uh, you'll be able to escape. Okay, we're, we're actually, we just do a, our play is parody. We really don't know very much about math. You know, when, uh, when the other goddess came to our world uh, for real, you know, it kind of boggled everybody's mind. I don't know if you've been in here just praising math, but, uh. Out there, you know, we were more worried about uh, getting by. We were already actors. And, you know, after the aftermath of no math uh, or less math or whatever you want to call it, uh, as Discordia came, I mean, we, we had seen all those Marvel movies, so it was just weird to see someone come and d declare themselves uh, 
that they were going to sweep math from the earth because uh, we don't have actual superheroes, you know. And, you know, everybody's got to make a living and, you know, be like a living to eat and, and drink and maybe plan for the future. So that's what we've been doing. It's just traveling. At, it's just parody. We're not really, we don't really have an opinion on math for like most people. We're just trying to make do. I guess you're, you're, you're more yeah, thinking we're anti-math. It's just the reality is math's gone. I mean, I know you, you, there's pockets of people but, 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 but there is actually an anti-math goddess on earth, you know, like Discordia is real or some super being that's, you know, r- 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 calling themselves Discordia. I don't know. And, you know, you're, you're likely to live in a stable area where just the basics of math don't function or whatever. I don't know. We, we're not, uh, I, I only play a doctor. I'm not an actual doctor, so I don't understand the underlying things that are happening or even how some mystical power removes basic mass. But but we've been to some places that have, uh, like, have you ever seen, like, a dolly painting? Some cities are like that because the other mass principles are not existent. You have a stable area. Like... Uh, you know, I don't know what mass principle you would get rid of if you put it on baked beans, but that your city would, you know what I mean? Right. So uh, we're not against mass. We're just doing a show. And again, we, we, we had worked something out with your mayor. We apologize for, we didn't actually take anything. We're just in the tent. I guess we, uh, maybe you're sensitive. To this is okay. You're raising your hand like you want me to. Okay, I'll begin the test uh, now uh, to see if the two of you can. G- 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 okay, cool, cool. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, what kind of is this a written test? Oh, those doors are raising. Those are. Uh, are those who? who are your uh, are those your minions? They're going to push baked beans down this rolling hill. Uh, Interesting. They're going to roll baked beans down. Like those baked beans will get down here and we'll be in trouble. So you're going to roll. Our test is, uh, uh, your test is to use basic mass principles. Uh, if you can use them before the beans, uh, do, do you understand? Uh, we're going to ask you some basic questions. Okay, we, we don't really, you know, like people kind of forgot math when we were, uh, after math left, again, I, I think you're too math familiar. Uh, so could you give us an idea of the basic principles we need to know to solve this? So, so we have to do some kind of equation solving? All you'll need to know is the distributive principle and uh, the rate of change in slope uh, to solve this equation. Use them together and we'll set you free with your uh, original payment. Okay, uh, could you could you give us a couple of examples first of the dis- distributive pr- principle? That sounds. I mean, that sounds like we, I don't know if we could figure it out. Like distribute. Uh, uh, well, we, we you distributed fifteen percent of our beans uh, to us. Uh, uh, we. I mean, we do use math occasionally because you're in the master. I mean, so with uh, distributed principle, I don't know what the. Do you know what that is? I don't know. I mean, it's a lot of pressure to be figuring this. Hey, could you just give us a little bit more? Okay, so we have to do two equations or one equation using both principles. What's the rate of change of slope? Uh, I think we need graph paper for that one. Yeah, we don't even have graph paper, so I don't know. Distributed principle and rate of change of slope... Uh, it just sounds like uh, that sounds very. You're really putting us in a pickle. Why? I mean, well, they could just get rid of us. So, so I don't know if we should argue or what we could. Could you just give us a few minutes to do some uh, practice equations? Uh, you're 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 you're, you're uh, in the honor. We call on the mercy of the shots. Oh boy, that got our attention. Yes, I also call on the mercy of Shashat to familiarize myself with the distributed principle and rate of change in slope or whatever the rate of, yes. Uh, okay, so you're counting us down here. Oh, thank you. Thank you in the honor of Shashat to give us some time. Okay, I don't even know if I'm... Uh, 
So I hope I'm not offending the goddess. Okay, well, just we got to figure out something. So they're going to roll distributed principle. So the slope is the, the hill that they're rolling the beans down on us. Uh, and the rate of change is probably going to be how fast the beans come down. And I don't know how that's going to make any difference. A distributed principle. Distributed principle, you know, so then, I mean, that's not even math. Uh, distributing means just like we're distributing the beans for wine. In some sense, that's a distribution. Yeah, you're right. I mean, so I think it's like reassigning. I don't know what, what the equation is, though. They have three stacks of beans. Uh, they're different sizes stacks. There's two of us, so we must be part of the equation. The rate of slope. Uh, okay, I, I, I don't know what they will like. So, okay, she's counting still. I don't know what down to. Okay, well, there's like all these squares. Like, you know, there's like the, the mason blocks on the. So that's kind of like a grid. Okay, th I don't think we. this is a solvable problem, though. Okay, but what if we, uh, can I, what if we, uh, okay, oh, uh, oh, I got an idea. Excuse me, again, calling on the mercy of Sushat. You, you know, we're both, uh, you know, we we, uh, we lost, we don't have the luxury of uh, corrective lenses, which we both use. And so if we could just walk around while you give us this time, we're working on solving this equation and familiarizing ourselves with these, you, you know, somehow we forget the great old wisdom that you praise here called math. And w so if you just give us a little bit of time, we're going to um, just walk around here and uh, then uh, uh, work on so just so we could get a little bit better. Okay, let's just walk up here. Okay, what are we doing here? We're walking one, two. Oh, good. Okay, I pretend you're counting. Oh, yeah, like, uh, remember the X, Y, that's what I remember. Oh, yeah, it's like uh, rise versus rate or something like that. Oh, yeah, we've definitely got to calculate. Uh, it's a little bit harder because, oh, we could use the squares on the walls also. It's like we're in a 3D puzzle. I don't know what you're talking about, but I, I, I just wanted to say X, Y. Does that mean, oh, yes, the axes, of course. Okay, keep walking towards the cans, uh, uh, because the people, that they're, they're, like, standing a little bit behind. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's just check, check a look at these cans to familiarize ourselves with. Uh, uh, yes, oh, hello, God, hello. You, yes, you, yes you, you, you're very good ca counting us down. Oh, I'm just checking here to see. We're just going to do a little math to figure out, uh, you know, if I count, uh, you know, circumference, you know, area and angle. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's just isosceles from the show. Oh, yeah, let's count the beans. Let's count all the way around. You're right. So we're just going to start with these two pallets of beans. Excuse us. One, two, three. Oh, it's four, five, six. Okay, now when you get on the other side, we'll just push them down the hill and then... I think it'll, then we'll just, uh, uh, I, we, okay, I got you. Let's, uh, oh, five, ten. I think I'll count by twos for a little while. Two, four, six. Uh, okay, let's go. One, two, three, push. And the, okay, the narrator here, the, all the beans, uh, two of the three pallets of beans went tumbling down, crashing where Dr. Triangle and Isosceles had been standing before. And uh, cracking a hole in one of the walls, uh, uh, and they looked, uh, and then they ran, and, and then they got it. the uh, priestess just stood in their way, and then they were again trying to use uh, uh, social technique. You know, you know, they were dancing, trying to get by to push the last thing of beans, and then other people were streaming into the room. And then, you know, if, as if we didn't notice uh, before, overlooking the room was a giant statue of Sashat, uh, which suddenly became bathed in warm light in the face of the statue. It began to speak. Uh, 
Oh, st- stop, everyone. Stop. Is, is that statue? To- I think the statue just started talking. We may be hallucinating now. Everyone stop. Uh, this is your goddess here. Uh, oh, boy. So the two of you are here. Uh, here. We've been waiting for you for a long time. Oh, we, hello, uh, your, your statue ship. Uh, we're just uh, we're just tr- trying to solve your puzzle the best the only way we could. Yes, uh, we've been waiting for two heroes to come, and uh, you appear not to be the ones we expected. Oh, you, well, we play here. We don't play heroes. We play uh, uh, you, in the play. We're kind of buffoons. Uh, Okay, let me handle it. Is your your statue ship, your god is this really the goddess? Okay, everyone else has fallen silent and they're prostrate. Your goddess, we 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 would love to go prostrate in your honor, uh, but yeah, we were just we're just performers, just doing our best to, to get through things. Uh, uh, yes, I know, and I've seen what you both desire most in the hallways of the mirrors. I saw, and you saw, what you wish for most. But in a world without math, none of that is possible. You see, the math hasn't just stopped. uh, It's uh, slowly drifting away from the world as Discordia gains more and more power and lives in your world. More and more places will become like the places you talked about, until math leaves your world forever. And without math, uh, I guess I will show you and in, in look into my eyes. I think this is a real goddess because I'm seeing things uh, and I'm looking, I'm seeing them in the inside of my head, but also in my eyes. I am too. I'm losing. Yes, you're seeing yourselves losing everything you desire. Not ju- this isn't just a, someone else's problem. A world without math, uh, with you anti-math or your ma- math apathy, uh, cannot stand. So it, 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 this, this is what Discordia truly desires, and she'll slowly gain her way. So I need the two of you uh, to become our heroes, and that's why we have all these canned goods uh, We've been stocking them in anticipation. I mean, we were expe- I was expecting, even as a goddess, I am not omnipotent. So I was expecting something much different. Uh, but uh, we will make do with the two of you. you. You did manage. You were the only two so far that have not solved the equation. Uh, and... Uh, 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 you, well, we, we're pretty good at that kind of stuff. I mean, we've been traveling for a long time, so we've been in some pickles. So you're saying you want to hire us in exchange for canned goods uh, to, 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 to do what? I need you to start saving math. Uh, with my help, uh, you two will be my heroes on Earth, my heralds. Uh, Discordia has managed to keep me from directly interfering in her plans. And since you don't have any heroes like you have in those former movies you used to watch, uh, I'll need to uh, work through the two of you. Uh, And yes, you will receive proper payment to enable what you saw. If you save math, uh, if you just start the journey back uh, to standing up to Discordia and undoing the undoing of mass, eh? you can have all that you desire, but without it, you'll have nothing. Okay, okay thank you, uh, your goddess. We will, uh, we, we accept your offer. So does that mean we can have the beans? Uh, it means you'll rest in the temple tonight, and tomorrow you'll set forth, and yes, uh, we have some destinations where you are needed. Yeah, but we will also we will also get your uh, your tanker truck of wine, Doctor Triangle. But from this day forward, you are your two characters you parodied so much, and I want you to cloak yourself in those characters, 
and B, he has those characters. Uh, and one day you could be her heroes of math, uh, even though you spent your uh, recent adult lives uh, parodying and insulting math. Goddess, you sound like you're saying that with your teeth grinding closed. Uh, why don't you rest now? And uh, tomorrow you'll start your long journey. I don't know about this. Well, we don't. We don't have to. I mean, we don't have to, have to know about it. We just have to use it to our advantage. I can hear. I can, We we know that we're working with what we have. You're not the heroes we asked for, but the heroes we've gotten. Yeah, this isn't what we. You, you, great, uh, because we. we yeah, it sounds good. Thank you. We'll rest here in the temple. And so, narrator here are two heroes, Dr. Triangle and Isosceles, headed off uh, to bed and uh, rested for the night. And that's where we'll stop our tale here, where the adventures of Dr. Triangle and Isosceles began. Good night. All right, I want to thank the latest round of reviewers uh, on Apple Podcasts. Uh, the gray one, gray-haired one is best uh, from Canada. Says, uh, "Funny guy, good sleep. Uh, lots, let's. Uh, you're really good. I agree with them uh, for a different reason. I think you're funny. The way you go off on tangents and uh, meandering and laid-back ways, hilarious." Eventually getting to sleep. Uh, good stuff. Cheers, my man. Happy, uh, sleepy times. Uh, thank you. Miss Susie comes in, or Susie uh, from U.S. Uh, voice of a comforting teddy bear. Comfort, safe, uh, superhuman scooter. Friend uh, from the airwaves. Touches my off button in a gentle and kind way. Uh, thank you. From the U.K., Trues. SD, FX, VX, MC. So MC, Trues de uh, Amazing. Normally I'm tossing and turning all through the night, but Scoots has slurred words and tangents. Amazing and send me to sleep right away. Uh, cool. Uh, uh, Dina the Advocate. Uh, uh, Dina's been, been, been uh, through a lot and... Uh, Makes it really, really hard to sleep. And uh, the podcast, uh, when they found it was just what they needed, uh, and this is able to let them uh, so not have to listen to everything going through their head. And in a few minutes, uh, they're asleep. Uh, so, uh, so happy to help. Uh, thanks for sharing, Dina. Uh, cooking, literal A, uh, literal A with EA, cooking, literal A. Uh, better than any other sleep aid, the literally best sleep aid. Better than the other, all the stuff you buy over the counter. We're behind the counter. Thanks, Scoots, for uh, making me, helping me feel comfortable and support in the deep dark night. Uh, Deborah Lynn, uh, set, settling my mind's eye from a friend beyond the binary, or binary eye in this case, so I could rhyme with eye. When my avocation is a midwife, uh, avocation is of a midwife teaching and nursing requires me to pull the processes of my quantum life into line and reduce all extraneous uh, stimulation. I can settle in with scooter and drift off into sleep or maintain attention to a process. As if my late father was quietly speaking to his brothers in my grandmother's parlor, aware of uh, small ears, gentle and kind. Um, from 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 could not have resisted. Lately, I not only set up the podcast while I'm sleeping, but I also have it on a piano. Have him on the piano bench in my office uh, to remind me that every leaf on a tree is still a different leaf, and every breath a new breath. Uh, thank you. That's really well. Uh, thank you. Uh, LX MX MS from Canada. Amazing. Thanks, Scooter. Uh, has been. Uh, Help me get to sleep. I'm in the healthcare field, just starting my placement, and I need to go to bed early uh, and be up at 4 a.m. Wow. Falling asleep is a difficult, for sure, and this has helped so much. Great. Uh, haven't finished one yet. That's from Alyssa, or Alyssa, Alyssa Art. Uh, 
uh, severe insomnia, a lot of dealing, a lot on my plate, uh, podcast. The only thing that puts me asleep, it works wherever, whenever, uh, it's amazing. Literally never finished an episode, like a best, so super dull. Seriously, even if you're not having, even if you can't sleep, give it a try. Uh, it even works on my toddler. Uh, Polly Cy Woot uh, says perfect sleep podcast. Did I miss that one? Polly Cy Woot. Uh, my wife and I have been listening every night. Uh, for, did I say that last week? Uh, That's a funny one. The uh, scooter's relaxing, made our nights a lot less anxious. Uh, thanks to you both. Uh, Randy Red never listened to a full episode because I fall asleep. Uh, let me just, I don't know if I've, I, I don't, maybe I missed these ones somehow. Maybe not. So Audrey uh, says it's been my favorite podcast for months now. And you get to sleep within 10, 20 minutes. Uh, Katie says, hello, uh, says, uh, from, oh, from, all the way from Taiwan. Uh, some of the voice that really puts me to sleep. And Izzy Ox, uh, helps me sleep, uh, when my, get my head relaxed. Uh, thank you. Thanks everybody for reviewing the show over on Apple Podcasts, uh, you could do that in your uh, in your app on your phone or your tablet or uh, on your laptop. I think yeah, Sleep with Me is a proud vem- member of uh, Night Vale. Pr- proud member of uh, proud member of Night Vale presents. Uh, you can check out all the amazing shows at uh, nightvalepresents.com, uh, including uh, one of my favorites, uh, Great Road Trip, uh, Amazing Story, Three Amazing Seasons. Alice isn't on the big farm anymore. Uh, you could also check out the book, uh, uh, which I just saw in my local bookstore. Uh, and it's, it just go to just go to nightvalepresents.com to find out more. That we could look up the co- correct name uh, uh, and check it out. Uh, we're also a proud member of PRX. You can see everything they're doing at prx.org. And you know we're, we're, we exist because of direct listener action. Uh, whether it's listeners supporting the show on Patreon. We're listeners supporting the sponsors. That's how we're able to bring you the show for free. Uh, the podcast grows because of people that uh, naturally spread the word. So thanks, everybody out there, uh, keeping the show going. And uh, that's it. i got plenty more episodes ready to go for you if you need them. Uh, good night.